A new record for the longest saltwater crocodile skull was just verified, and I was a small part of this happening. The skull I am referring to is from a 19-foot crocodile named Bujang Senong, and the dorsal cranial length of this crocodile was 77 centimeters, or 30.32 inches, making it the longest saltwater crocodile skull we know of. Not only that, the length of this skull will provide scientific insights which debunk claims in older literature. However, the history and process to get this verified was long and tedious, and it took over 30 years to finally get the skull the recognition it deserved. In 1992, a killer crocodile living in Sarawak named Bujang Senong was caught and killed after attacking a woman, but it was long suspected the crocodile had killed other people too. The crocodile was unique as its back was mainly white, but the main thing that caught everyone's attention was its size. Johnson Jong of Jong's Crocodile Farm was the one to measure this beast, with the measurement being 19 feet 3 inches. Photographs were taken of the large crocodile, but the only thing preserved of Bujang Senong was his skull. The skull remained in Zhang's crocodile farm, receiving little attention outside Malaysia. That was until recently. In November of 2023, I was making a video about giant crocodilian skulls, and which species had the longest on record. For the saltwater crocodile, the record skull has long been recognized as this one in Paris, with it being 76 centimeters or 29.92 inches long. However, as I was doing my research, I found a post by a person named Metasuchus online that a slightly longer skull existed, that skull being Bujang Senong's, with a measurement of it being 77.2 centimeters, or 30.39 inches long. What was interesting as well was the picture Metasuchus provided had the signature of someone quite famous in the crocodilian community, a crocodile hunter by the name of George Craig. Not only that, Craig was standing right next to the skull. I had no idea when the photo was taken, but considering Craig was a valued source for the article who's got the biggest, which looked at giant croc skulls, I was curious as to why this skull was not more recognized. In the same month, I emailed one of the authors of the article, Ron Whitaker, who if you don't know was involved with the measuring of the longest crocodile ever verified. After emailing him, Ron Whitaker was not too familiar with Craig's measurement, but he did send me a chain of emails dating back to 2009 and they were of a conversation between him and a person named Remy Jalowizak. Jalowizak was interested in this skull too, and was able to contact Zhang's crocodile farm and got a response from the farm manager, Dennis Yang. The measurements Yang was able to report was of the dorsal cranial length and max skull width. Although the skull widths differed between Craig and Yang, both reported a very similar DCL, meaning it likely was a record breaker. The only issue, however, was that neither measurements from Yang or Craig were verified, so the measurements were lost in time. Which brings us back to Craig. Why did we never hear of his measurements? From the end of 2023 to early 2024, I received many comments stating that the measurements from George Craig were inaccurate. The claims were that due to the glass case not being removed, Craig was not able to directly measure the skull, so the measurements were inaccurate. Another contact of mine, Rui Mendez, also informed me that this was the reason Craig never released the measurements to be used in scientific articles. In January of 2024, I contacted George Craig, but unfortunately never got a response. It was around mid-February I was informed by a user named Med9471 that the claim of Craig's measurements being inaccurate came from Craig's grandson, Tootie Scott. With me being told this, I wanted to get the news directly from Scott himself, but did not know how to directly contact him. With the help of John Bruggen of the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, I was able to get in touch with Scott. Scott sent an email to both me and Ron Whitaker with him explaining, quote, Yes, George did put a tape measure on the skull of Bujang Senong at Zhang's Crocodile Farm. The way he explained it is that the clear case was not fully removed and he had to reach under the case to take the measurement. Although the claims of it not being measured directly were incorrect, it was true that Craig was not confident in his measurements. Whitaker and I were still determined to find the true length of this skull though, and little did we know the truth would come out soon. In mid-February, I emailed Zhang's Crocodile Farm with specific instructions on how to measure the skull and to take photographic evidence so there would be an end to all this speculation. On March 13th, as I was walking home, I read an email from the farm manager, Tio, stating the skull had finally been measured. Zhang's Crocodile Farm took a video of all the measurements and sent the video to me, and also released the video on their Facebook and Instagram. The length of the skull was determined to be 77 centimeters. 
Actually seeing the measurements and the happiness I felt knowing this was finally verified was something I will never forget. I then emailed Ron Whitaker the link to the video and after he looked over the film, he believed this really was the new world record for the world's longest saltwater crocodile skull. The reason confirming this is important is because besides this being such a huge skull, this gives us a greater insight into saltwater crocodile morphology and growth. You see, it has long been thought that for salties below 16 feet, they have a ratio of around 1 to 7 for their head length compared to their total body length. As the salty gets past 16 feet, then the ratio increases to around 1 to 8. Then once you get past 18 feet, it gets to around 1 to 9. This ratio of around 1 to 9 is what's been confirmed with these three 20 footers. Therefore, we'd expect something similar due to how big Bujang Sengong was, but that's not the case. With a dry skull measurement of 77 centimeters, Bujang Sengong would have a ratio of about 1 to 7.6. But considering the fact crocodilian skulls can shrink by about 4% over time, the fresh skull ratio could be about 1 to 7.3. Besides this debunking the long thought rule, this would then add more skepticism of how big some crocodiles were based on their skulls. For instance, if the skull of Bujang Sengong was found by itself, say as a fossil, the estimates for this crocodile would be over 22 feet if we use the 1 to 9 rule, which is obviously not true. This new verified measurement of Bujang Sengong is a major find for crocodilian science, and although I was only a small part in the effort for this information to finally get out, I'm still happy to be a part of it. Thank you to everyone else as well that played a part in this record breaker finally getting the recognition it deserved. I will also be doing another video about Bujang Sengong by the end of the month, so subscribe for more videos. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy. Hey everyone, just wanted to give a general channel update. Um, if you have not been noticing, I have not been uploading as many videos as I once was. The reason for that is simply my life has been a little bit more busy recently. Everything's good, everything's great. Um, I just have some commitments that I need to focus on uh, crocodilian and non-crocodilian related, but everything's good in my life and that doesn't mean that this channel is gonna stop because of those commitments. Um, especially with everything that's happened this week, I am just so unbelievably happy, seriously. I'm, I'm trying to contain myself, but um, just this whole week has been just awesome. It, it's been amazing, um, especially just being a little croc nerd my entire life um, to be a small part in this little crocodilian moment in history it's just really special and cool so channel's not going to stop and i'm just really excited for what we have in store for the future of this channel so thank you all so much for the support it really means a lot and uh, i'll see you in the next video thanks